Good evening, Titans. And uh, we're ready to begin chapter two. In chapter two, we start off with uh, writing and graphing inequalities. The essential question is how can you use an inequality to describe a real life statement? First of all, an inequality is a statement that two quantities are not equal. And there's something similar to this a little bit in your notebook, but there's some of these things I think are real important. Um, you know, A is less than B, A is greater than B, A is less than or equal to B. But then if you look at the A is less than or equal to B, if you look at these two here, I think that's real important to know that A is less than or equal to B can also be written as A is at most B or A is no more than B. And because they have the word most and more, it's really confusing. But at most means you can be at most 19 years old to attend the teen dance. Or you can be no more than 19 years old to go to the teen dance. And so if you put it in that terms, it might be helpful for you. And the same thing is true as A is greater than or equal to B, where you have A is at least B, or you must be at least 16 years old to get your driver's license, or A is no less than 16 years old to get your driver's license. And then you have the other couple here, the ones where they're in between, and then A is not equal to B. But you may want to be able to refer back to this later. So here it says write each sentence as an inequality. So a number w minus 3.5 is at most, remember at most means less than or equal to a negative 2. 3 is less than a number n plus 5. So 3 is less than a number n plus and again, the main thing here is to notice that the word is has involved in both of these, which helps us know that we're having an inequality symbol. Zero is no less than. Well, if you think about less than, equal to, and greater than, <coughs> and it says no less than, it means we take that away. Zero has to be greater than or equal to twice a number plus one. 